So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to implement a simple date picker uh, that'll look just like you see here, uh, where you can select the date and as you change it, it changes down here as well. Um, in a future tutorial, I'll show you how to do a little more with this, but for right now, let's look at how to uh, implement a simple date picker. So uh, I'm going to come into our, this is just a, a single view Xcode project, and I'm going to add uh, one state variable um, that we're going to call selected date that is going to save the date that we select, and we'll make this e equal to a date object. Okay, and we're going to want to create a uh, vStack in here. Let's do that. Um, now well, we can get rid of this hello world. We don't really need that right now. Uh, but in here, um, we're going to uh, have my little cheat code over here that I'll bring. Uh, we're going to put in a date picker um, object that looks just like this. And so let me just simple. There's three parts to uh, a date picker object. And, and so you, know, you have the keyword date picker and then in the parentheses, you can have some text that'll display above your date picker. Date picker. Um, we're just saying, please select a date. Uh, and then this part here will save whatever the date that is selected to a variable. And we've already created that variable right here. Um, and then there's the display components where we are just getting month, uh, day, and year. Uh, there's other options that I can show you in future tutorials, but uh, this is the cleanest one. Uh, it's the most straightforward, the most common one that you see implemented. Um, yeah, and so then um, if we were to, to run this right now, you can kind of see that we should see um, a date selector, but it's not going to be as clean as uh, like it to be. Yeah, you get this uh Odd formatting over here. There's a couple ways you can fix that, but the quickest and easiest way to fix it is to uh, make this into a, a form. You make it into a form, Xcode um, automatically cleans it up for you. Uh, let's try to format this a little better. And so now if we run that uh, as a form, we should see our please select a date above our date picker. Yeah, and actually the nice thing about this is it doesn't come presented to the screen. You actually click it and now you see, which is kind of a nicer, your page isn't as busy to start out with. Um, and then I like to add the uh, last element to this would be, again, I'm inside the form here. I'm going to add a, a text element and we're gonna put, um, we'll say uh, select it could say whatever actually I need that to be in quotes but we'll say select it and we'll show our variable select the date so now if we run this um, click here and as I change this, you see this date changes with it as well. Cool. There you go. That's your um, date picker. Uh, and, you know, obviously you could use this variable to make other things happen on your page based on the date that is selected. Um, and in the next tutorial, I will show you how to uh, break this down. And because this is kind of giving us a little too much information. What if we just wanted the, the month, the date and the year? to be able to do something based on that. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe. Thanks.